you can translate it into English, uh, like hack uh, the traffic light. Okay. All you need to play this game is a NFC powered uh, phone. And, uh, to start it, uh, all you need is to play uh, to open the apps, and then there there is a time to check the next checkpoint. It will show checkpoint pass and how many points do you got. So every time you uh, you tap your phone to the tag, there will be a point. Uh, I love the fact of people knowing when there are crowds, because again, it helps the same, the same notion. <coughs> what I really like about it is actually uh, the competition ability. We are developing a city size and a real life Minesweeper game. So. And to select the grid, we just provided a button here on the bottom of the box here. Right, by the idea that that uh, you have to physically interact with it to dig the hole instead of just cutting the red or the blue wire, right? <laughs> like in every movie. Uh, it's a very nice idea. We call it as fast as you can. So before, we're gonna explain about the problem. The problem is uh, so many unused uh, public area or facility in Jakarta. There are three runners. You tap it one, run one start. Tap it second, run it to start. Many of these things are interesting when they're anonymous, but that's my personal perspective. Right? People want to say, yeah, I really, this is my part, right? I, I run this part. We call it the sound barrier. Now, what we were trying to do is to block, imagine a, the most congested city, uh, sorry, street in Jakarta. Okay. Loads of traffic, lots of noise. For us, the, the epitome of a hack is something that is transformational, something that really remains and transforms people's lives beyond the actual physicality of it. So, so they think that somebody is moving, and when somebody is moving, then they play sound for one and a half seconds. In that, in that way, if you pass by running, you will hear the cheer like passing you by. Uh, the concept here is that we call it React advertising. Uh, why React advertising? Because we've all been to bus stops waiting for buses for hours, getting a bit bored, and we always have billboards and ad bo advertising boards, uh, often at bus stops or nearby uh, bus stops. So imagine having, uh, uh, rather than a passive uh, 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 billboard, uh, an interactive billboard that actually uh, facilitates uh, or encourages movement and exercise. So we want to attract people to do sport yeah. while they are unconsciously doing sport, but they still move. You know, you, you make people move, but they but they don't realize they are doing sport. So how do we make people unconsciously to move? How do we make people unconsciously unconsciously uh, do sport? We attract them by using music. Oh, a different sound. <laughs> it must be interesting. <laughs> that could um, be installed in our ears. And this same pool sensor could detect our heartbeat. I think it's absolutely amazing. I really, really, really do. Yeah. So what we have here is a phone and uh, Arduino full of sensors. So these are, this is the carbon monoxide sensor. Mm -hmm. And this is the humidity and temperature sensor. And this small circle here is uh, the light sensor. And by having that, those sensors, we are sending the data back to this. So if you press start, you, you will be able to see the current, uh, current data. Yeah, the idea is when a runner running in the city, um, we know that Jakarta is a, is a quite dark. Sometimes you can't really see the place. So what it is, you can create an app, then you call it your so when around you can see a drone coming in front of you and then your projects your project uh feature for you. For Traffic Lights Projects is the, uh, the winner.